breaking news, Nigerians. Nwike in danger. Life threatened. Weeks after becoming FCT minister. This video will shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a shocking incident captured on video along the Federal Highway in Abuja, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nyensom Wiki, has been confronted with a grave threat to his life. A young Fulani header, while tending to his cattle, openly declared his intent to harm and potentially assassinate the Honorable Minister. The incident has sparked outrage and concern among Nigerians, raising questions about the safety and the education of children involved in hydrant. The video, which has gone viral, depicts a man in a car informing the young header of Yes and Wiki's impending presence in response to the boy speaking in the Hausa language. Chile assented that he possessed spiritual powers that could be used against the minister, ultimately threatening to take his life. This is alarming declaration of intent has ignited a, a firestorm of controversy, demanding swift attention and action. This distressing incident occurred against the backdrop of minister Nwike's previous statement on headers activities within the FCT during a press conference on August 21st, just days before his threat was made, Nwike publicly announced his intentions to stop the hedging of cattle within the Abuja metropolis. He contended that these activities detracted from the the appeal of the capital city. Notably, Nwike's comments on curbing the activities of headers came shortly after his inauguration as the FCT minister, a role he assumed on the same day. His strong stance on this issue set the this, this stage for this disturbing. Imaran Mohammed, a Twitter user, played a pivotal, a pivotal role in bringing this dissenting video to public attention. He shared the video on August 31st, attracting a substantial online audience. Mohammed's capture underscored the gravity of the situation, stating, This Fulani head boy, then we get to stop them from entering Abuja. Nigerians from all walks of life have expressed their deep concern and condemnation of the, the young Boris threat against Jason Wiki. One common threat among the reactions is the apprehension regarding the safety of the children engaged in hedging, like the boy featured in the video. Many believe that children should be in school, not exposed to dangerous situations that could lead to criminal activities. The video capturing the young Fulani headers threat against Esson Wiki has sparked national outrage and ignited a conversation about the safety and education of children engaged in hedging. It remains to be seen how authorities will respond to this grave situation and whether measures will be taken to ensure the welfare and the future of young headers. As this story unfolds, it serves as a stark reminder of the pressing issues facing Nigeria and the need for a comprehensive approach to address them. We invite our, our leaders to do the needful because what is really going on in Nigeria, he, he, it has become something else. You understand the situation whereby Nigerians cannot even, you know, hope for tomorrow's me. They, 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 they hardly eat three square me in a day. And this is really very, very disturbing. Meanwhile, 
No fewer than 500 commercial motorcycles were on Thursday impounded and crushed by the Joint Tax Force of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, on the orders of the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, yes, on Wike. Wike had last week ordered that the commercial motorcycles and Kekena Pep, or Pretos, be taken off Abuja Road. Sahara reporters learned that the operation was carried out under the tight security why owners of the motorcycles watched helplessly as the Buddhists crushed them beyond recognition. The seizure occurred during a search of strategic locations used by Okada operators as operational routes such as Ikbadum 2, Asokoro Extension, Gala Dimawa near primary school, Gudu Market, Gabusa Junction, and Akbo Mechanic, where all we are all searched. Before crushing the seized motorcycles in Area 1, the Federal Capital Territory FCT Commissioner of Police, Garaba Aruna, said that the action was proved that the Okada ban was still in effect. According to him, the FCT residents are aware that motorcycles had been bound from entering the Federal Capital City since, 20, since 2006. Crushing of the Okada is to show a signal that the city center is not an area for them to operate. There are designated areas for them to operate. That is the, the sub stop the subs of FCT. So, so that this type, this re, reoccurring of people who wants to emulate this will learn. From this exercise, we don't want to see any motorcycle in the city center, he said. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.